yo what is up guys today we are going to be upgrading the rog ally to have three terabytes of storage that's three thousand gigabytes you see here we have the two terabyte ssd as well as a one terabyte micro sd card so we're gonna get into it right now we're gonna upgrade this storage it's pretty straightforward pretty easy process so let's not waste any time let's get right into it so make sure you have your device turned off make sure everything's powered down so it's just some screws around here and then we're gonna pry it open and get into it so let's just start with these screws here i'm using the case just so i can have a little bit of um cushion as i'm working on this so yeah i don't want to have it just face down on, on the table so let's get into it So you have those screws loosened. Let's just get our little um, spudger plastic tool here to get in between this crevice. That was actually very easy. Easier than I thought it would be to get in. So we just go around the edge of the device here. Go around the edge of the plastic tool. You don't want to use a metal tool here because you don't want to scratch it up. All right, so now we are inside of the ROG Ally. Let's turn this around here. We are now inside of the ROG Ally. So this is exciting, you guys. We're about to upgrade to our three terabytes of SSD storage here. So now that we have the, the back plate off, you can see that we have our SSD upgrade here. We're going to pretty much replace the SSD as well as the um, the SD card and the SSD. So we're gonna have a total of three terabytes of storage in our um, device here. So let's just set that to the side. The SSD is under this, um, under this flap here. So you can just lift this up and then you will see the SSD right here. So lift this up and at, th at this time you could remove the battery here just so you don't, you're not sending any power there, just in case you can do that as a precaution. Now we're gonna do just unscrew this screw here and they're gonna replace our SSD. So unscrew this screw here. Don't lose this screw, set it to the side. Don't lose it, it's gonna be very important. So once we unscrew that, we can sort of just lift this up a little bit and then pull this out. Lift it up and then pull it out. Okay, so here is our 512 SSD and now we can replace it with the two terabyte SSD. So let's open this up and get it in there. So this is a Sabrent two terabyte SSD. Um, it's not too expensive, but it is um, one of the more premium options on the market here. You could probably find some cheaper from AliExpress or another site like that. But this, um, is a reputable brand so we should have no problems here and here it is the two terabyte ssd look at that two terabytes of ssd storage and yeah let's get that in there let's not waste any time guys let's just put that in line it up tilt it up a little bit and then lay it down push it into the socket make sure it's fully seated inside of that socket there and then let's get our screw back on. Don't lose the screw. It's very important. So get our screw back in there. Screw that down. Make sure you don't over tighten it. So then let's get our battery connector back in place. Get our battery connector back in there. Make sure it's fully connected. So that it's fully connected. And now we can sort of um, turn it on just to make sure it's working before we put it back together. So let's just get this thing plugged in and turn it on just to make sure it still has some life in it. All right, guys, sorry about that. We are back. It looks like you have to plug it into the official charger for the first boot 
after you dis uh, connect the battery. So I had to plug it into the official charger um, just to get it back up and running. But we have it back together, just reassemble it, screw the screws back in, and you're good to go. And once you turn it on, um, it's gonna bring you into this BIOS menu. So you may be looking for how we're going to restore it. What you wanna do is you have to press Y. That's going to take you into the advanced options. Press Y to take you into the advanced options. And then you will see here, ASUS Cloud Recovery. Then we just click that. And that's going to start us on the process here. So let's just agree to all of this stuff. And let's get the Cloud Recovery going. It's gonna to wanna to connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm just going to type in my password here. Okay, we're connected to the Wi-Fi. And now it's gonna just run through the cloud recovery process. All right, so it's downloading the files now required for the cloud recovery. And we're gonna come back when it's all done. Okay, so after about 12 hours, no, just playing. After about like 20 minutes, the um, cloud recovery is done. So we can continue with this here and get into the device. So it's gonna start up over like if you was to do a factory reset it's going to pretty much have you to do all the installations and updates and everything like that. But the good thing is the ASUS software and everything is going to be installed. So you don't have to try to go download the Armory Create and the My ASUS and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's going to run through the update. It's going to pretty much do everything it needs to do. Another step of the cloud recovery. But anyway, I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. We did the SSD upgrade. We have our one terabyte. Let's officially just put our one terabyte in there just so we can call it a day, let you guys go about your day. And we can officially say we have a three terabyte ROG ally. 3000 gigabytes right here you've seen it here first <laughs> i don't know if y'all don't know <laughs> but anyway anyway you guys it's pretty much a done deal and i'll check you guys in the next one. Oh, actually hold up hold up one thing i will say is um the on-screen keyboard is not coming up for this part so i'm gonna have to plug in a external keyboard so that's one thing to note I wasn't able to do this entire process about plugging in an external um, keyboard here. So that's just something that you may want to take into consideration. Anyway, it's going to do its thing. One thing I can suggest that you can do with your spare SSD is to put it inside of an enclosure. So I have an enclosure here. Um, I got this a while back when I had the um, Steam Deck replacement. So what you could do is get one of these, they're pretty cheap nowadays, get one of these SSD um, enclosures and just slap that in there and get yourself a nice 512 gigabyte SSD. Um, you can put your files on it and you will be good to go. So now you got extra SSD. So I guess that's something that we got out of this. So it's not useless. Now you have an external SSD maybe for some extra games or whatnot or whatever you want to do with it. But that's just something that you can do with the external SSD. I mean, the extra SSD that you switched out of here. Anyway, I got to get out of here, you guys. I'm wasting your time. So catch you in the next one. Let me know what else you want to see. And I'm going. Peace.